this article in Forbes mentions something that I had in a couple of, in a video I'd mentioned a couple of videos ago how one of the splits between the two candidates is that Clinton is a big fan and big user of big data as it says in this article from Forbes the links in the description below the video in fact he's been vocally critical Trump that is of analytics in big data in election campaigns Obama's data-driven st strategy has been credited by many as integral in his 2012 election victory and set the blueprint for the majority of today's political campaigns. Trump was dismissive, however, telling AP, I've always felt it was overrated. Obama got the votes, much more so than his data processing machine. And I think the same is true with me. The, or one of the key components in the analytics is uplift modeling. This is an article in Wikipedia and the link's in the description below the video. So we have a series of lessons on R, this being the quanta channel. So, you know, working with that data is very much relevant. As it says, uplift modeling, you know, it's a, it's a data mining technique. So, you know, say you have a response rate from a random selection of people and that's only 5%. But if you do something, so, you know, you, you, they're part of your mailing list or, and that kind of thing, their response rate is higher. So then you kind of go, okay, this block who were sent this kind of messaging had a higher response rate. That's good. So you can use that in political campaigns, which is what Obama did. This is the heart of the matter more, that you, as it says, in contrast, uplift modeling uses both the treated and controlled customers to build a predictive model. The idea is that you don't want to send, you want to have your analytical study done so you can classify your population, the people you're mailing into different groups. And then basically you want the persuadables group. So these are people who only respond to the marketing action because they were targeted. So as in the people who were otherwise not gonna vote Democrat in the case of Obama, or maybe weren't even gonna vote, but because you targeted them, they were persuadable. These people are potential voters for you. Likewise, your computer can just classify and say these people, another group who are sure things, like they were going to vote for Obama anyway. So there's no point wasting money sending material to them, which is supposed material which is designed to get people to vote for, for Obama, say. 
In this case, it would be Clinton. You also have lost causes. So, again, in Obama's case, if you have groups who you know are hardcore Republicans, they're not going to suddenly open up your envelope, read your material and go, oh, actually, I was wrong all along. That's just wasted money. And there are others who don't like getting uh, mailed stuff at all. So basically by doing these techniques, you can boost eat the bang for the buck. So given that you are spending hundreds of millions of dollars, you'd rather use it efficiently. So, you know, if you talk about, oh, when I'm in government, I'm going to spend my tax, the tax dollars, the tax dollars efficiently. Well, the best way to demonstrate that is to show, or a good way of, of showing it, is that, look, here's the money that I have for my campaign, and I'm using it efficiently. You know, I'm not just blowing it. This links in nicely to what we were doing. And I'll have a quick look at that soon enough. I'll try and do it before the election. You see, you can imp- imp- you have implementations of uplift in R. Because R is by far the leading um, package. And it's free. So, you know, you can just get it from most systems and it's free. So, we'll have a look at that. You know, just, I'll just have R. I'll just install the package and use, go through a basic example. And then, you'll, then we'll be able to see, oh, okay, this is what perhaps uh, Trump should have done. In his defense, he is more using social media, as it says in the article I began with. So Trump's strategy has has been to use social media. So you know, at the end of the at the end of the day, he has a huge uh, social media following. So he's able to basically save hundreds of millions or lots and lots of money by using his previously established social media system. The uplift modeling, it's not as if, you know, it magically will convert all the people. It will save you some money. So it's unclear whether the saving that Clinton made by using data data analytics is all that greater than the impact that Trump's been able to have using his massive uh, social media. 